Hi, in this video we'll compare jQuery with Vue.js and why you might want to consider learning Vue.js. Okay, so uh, we'll uh, make this example where I will uh, filter the list by name. So if I type apple, I will get that. If I type A, it will show the elements, items with uh, letter A. Okay, so for, uh, first uh, see the jQuery code, how we uh, go about making this. Okay, so in order to do that, we first uh, make, so this is our HTML, just a text where we can input and a UL class for all the items. Okay, let's jump into JS part. So, so to do that, uh, what we did is we just make an array of all the items and first of all, we select this post item and empty that out if there is already the element. Okay, so next we'll loop through each of the item and append the ally. So um, ally with the person, okay, so which will be the name. And in order to filter, as we type here, okay, so in order to filter that, we use, uh, we just grab this class filter, okay, which contains this item. And we get the value here and we hide the post this already existing these items and then we search for any item that contains the value whichever we type here okay so that's how we do in jquery we select the dom elements and we do something with that uh, now let's switch to vue.js way of doing this thing okay so so here is already uh, the example so i'll make from scratch so so here we are at a uh, new pen in codepen.io okay so here i'll just close the css okay so we'll need just these two now we'll include the uh, cdn okay so to use view we need to include that so here at the uh, installation page we'll just uh, grab the cdn this one on package so i'll copy the link address and I'll just paste it here and save okay so first of all we'll create a div called app okay so everything will be inside this so first we'll create the input uh, field and we'll just give okay so we created input field uh, so i'll explain uh, what this is in a moment next we'll create a ul element which will contain the list items okay so list items will be so here v4 so this is to loop through each of the item okay so v4 item in items so here we also items just item all right okay so this is uh, we need in HTML so now here we need to create a new view instance in order to use that so this is new view object okay so this uh, will pass options as an object like here okay so First thing we should specify is element, which element uh, we want to use this view instance on so so that it will grab this ID and it will just look inside this div to execute any of the methods or options specified here. Okay. So next, so after we switch our element, so uh, we have to show these data. Okay, so we have to define the data in data option so mm, items will be array okay so here we have items array okay so okay so we don't need that semicolon there okay now if you see here you see the item okay so each item in items so this is how we loop okay in jquery we use each here just in html all right so now we are looping through each of the item okay so at the moment 
we are not using filter okay it will not filter that so in order to filter uh, we have to use uh, methods so uh, we define all of the, our methods in this computed okay so if you want to learn the Vue.js uh, I have series on this channel okay so if not it is soon coming up uh, so you can subscribe for videos so for now so uh, here inside this computed we will define all of the, our functions so I will call my function filter it all right so it will um, so we'll define here function so actually uh, let's call this filtered items okay so we'll filter all the item according to our uh, this mm, input okay so so here uh, we have to define query also here okay at the moment it is empty this is just initialization okay of this variable okay so whatever we type in be model will be uh, this queries value will be whatever we type here in B model okay okay so here our function filtered item so we'll filter through the item okay so this function first will define a variable called self so this will contain the value of this this means all this object okay this view object so if we do this dot uh, query it will get this query if we do this dot items it will contain all of the items and like so this dot filter will get this function okay we can call this by that okay so after that uh, I will just mm, call the first we'll grab these items okay so let me just make this little bigger so self dot items is how we reference this item okay so I will call filter method on this items filter okay so filter accepts uh, function as an argument okay so we'll specify that so uh, it will filter according to this value so okay so just uh, if you don't understand this filter function you can search for it how it behaves okay so uh, generally what it does is uh, we have called this filter on the self item so it will um, loop through or go through each of the element okay so each of the items and it pass into this function and inside this function will grab that value and will um, so will uh, do the index of so index of um, this sorry self dot um, query so whatever we input will uh, get the index of that and if that is not equals to minus one so this means uh, this value contains this query string or character okay okay so uh, uh, let's return that okay so this is all about that yeah so we are returning this item uh yeah everything looks good so now let's uh, go save this and if you type here it will not show anything because we are uh, looping through items so now we want to uh, loop through uh, filtered items okay so let's change that filtered items okay we need to return this also because okay this is inside this function and this return is inside this function okay so a little bit typo there okay now if we type p it will so all the if i type a okay so like this it will filter so this is more a uh, data driven approach so according to data we'll look through so this is uh, more like code javascript okay so this is framework where it's like jquery is just a library although we can compare but we can understand by comparing okay so so i don't know about you but uh, it feels quite good okay so we are writing javascript rather than just some library where we are grabbing the 
element and doing something okay so if you want to learn Vue.js uh, the series is coming in my channel webdematics okay you can subscribe uh, see you in the series bye